Thanks very much, uh, uh, Hina, for that. I've got with me Vinita Nehru, as you said, Executive Vice Chairman with Tech Mahindra. Uh, Mr. Nehru, thanks very much for your time. Great to have you here. Uh, you are a Davos veteran in that sense. I mean, you've been oh. coming here for a number of years. Uh, and you were just telling me before uh, we hit air that uh, this is, I mean, this time it's different after a very long time in terms of the sense of excitement about uh, investing uh, into India. I was here in 2012 and it was very different when I can feel that. What about you? Yeah, I think the change in environment is almost palpable. Mm. Uh, I mean, after the 2000, after almost what, nine or ten years, there's suddenly a feeling that India may be going somewhere. Mm. Uh, all the actions which the current government has taken have created an environment mm. which says, yes, they are open for business. Mm. Yes, the, uh, all the roadblocks, most of the roadblocks are going to be taken out. Mm. Yes, the adversarial relationship which existed between government mm. and business and between, especially between the tax department, mm and the business mm. is going to be rationalized mm. and it's going to become a more fair way of assessing people. Mm. So all these things put together have given a sense of excitement. Mm. Now, the issue is, mm. will the government be able to deliver mm. to the extent of expectations created? Mm. That we will see. Mm. But, but at least the messaging is very right. right messaging now. is right and up to now whatever actions they have taken yeah. are in the right direction yeah. and in fact should have been taken many, many years ago. You were just, just telling me you were uh, just coming from a breakfast meeting with Mr. Jaitley, right? Yes, that's right. Uh, what, what did he say? What did he talk about? Precisely this, the kind of changes, fundamental changes mm. in substance but even more importantly to us in attitude mm. uh, which have come about. Mm. And I think that is what makes the difference between a government which works and a government which did not work. Mm. Uh, the earlier government, I mean, the most charitable thing which one can say was there was a paralysis through analysis. Mm. I mean, files just kept on moving from one place to another yeah. and no decision. So was here, there's, uh, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Jaitley, for example, is assuring speed, consistency. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in terms of allowing... Consistency, consistency and fairness. Fairness, yes. Where, That's very important. Uh, where yeah. b business is not seen with suspicion. Mm. Business is not seen as a place where you extract money. Mm. But business is seen as a, as a vehicle mm. for development. Growth jobs, I mean. Growth, yes. jobs, mm. and in fact poverty elevation. Yeah. Uh, one thing he repeated consistently was... That's Mr. Jaitley. This yeah, morning. Mr. Jaitley. Yes. One thing which Mr. Jaitley uh, repeated consistently was that he's pro-business because he's pro-poor. Okay. Because only business can create the jobs which the poor require to get out of their vicious cycle. Mm. Right. So he says there's no inconsistency in this. Mm. In fact, one leads to the other. Okay. And I think that convergence which he sees mm -hmm. is the most refreshing and most fundamental. Was it a mix of Indian uh, CEOs and I mean foreign CEOs and? Yeah, there was a, a big and, mix. And yes. was there an opportunity for uh, people to ask questions? Yes, there was. And what were, what kind of questions? Well, the, I mean. Precisely this, I mean, essentially this was unique because uh, since the time was short, what they said, uh, let the non-Indians ask the questions. <laughs> okay. Which I think was, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, was, uh, yeah. uh, was a good turn. Right. And the issue came up. Why is it that we don't want to do business in India? Right. Essentially because of corruption. Right. And how are you going to reduce corruption? Okay. At multiple levels. Right. And I presume Mr. Jaitley's answer was that we are going to do it uh, by using technology. Right. Taking the discretion away from the state. Right and putting fair rules into place and letting them have their way. So everything digital essentially, uh, I mean, everything in that, in that, that way. Uh, so, I mean, you're saying for foreign uh, sort of participants in that meeting, the basic, basic issue was corruption well, and, and taking away corruption. Yeah. Was that it or was there anything else no, which you thought was prominent? No. The multiple issues. Right. Right. I'm just trying to get a sense because, I mean, when we talk to Indian CEOs, they're, of course, very pumped and excited. Foreign CEOs that I've spoken to over the last uh, two days, uh, uh, they're, they're a bit more guarded about uh, 
uh, into the country, I guess, and that's because of the experience of the last couple of years. Yes, I think it's natural because yes. the fact is that there is corruption or there was corruption at every level, municipal level, state level, environmental level, central level, at every point. Mm. Uh, now, it's not going to be that easy to remove. Right. It's going to be, it's so routed into our DNA now. Yes. But if we change the processes, if whatever uh, resources state has mm. control over, it's done through e-auctions, mm. it's transparent. Mm. So in, you can take measures and government have already taken measures mm. to reduce it. Has it been eliminated? Mm. No. Yeah. Uh, right. Have the obstacles all been removed? No. Right. But you are going up a gradient path. Yes. And you have taken some significant steps. Yes. But even more importantly, your intention is clear. Mm. Hey, there's a new way of doing business and easier way. I'm again pressing on that breakfast meeting. I'm sorry, trying to get you, uh, I get think insights you from that. Mr. Jaitley, than me. <laughs> I, I, but was there any talk about the budget, which is right, uh, right com coming up? Did he, did he give any indications at all about that? Uh, I, I mean, mean, no finance minister would do that. You right. know that. No statement like watch out for the budget or no, anything no, that no, sort. No, no, okay, no. all right. So let me just talk about your industry. How is it? Uh, I mean, how are things? Techminder, of course, is uh, now, you know, completely different league. I mean, it now counts as. Uh, TO1 and TO1 when I say I talk about I talk about market capitalization for example yeah. uh, I mean what's what's your focus at Tech Mahindra now what are you doing can you just talk us through a little bit about that we are doing a bit of uh, more of the same we are uh, we are increasing our uh, uh, size and uh, our capabilities we are moving into different directions mm. and we are deepening our relationships with our existing client. Almost everything which we have been doing so is far. Is this a platform which helps you do that? I mean, do you meet a lot of clients here? Who yeah, oh yes, yeah? absolutely. We meet any number of our clients here. In fact, uh, uh, most of our time is spent with clients rather than attending sessions, if I may make this <laughs> confession publicly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, a one spot you, I guess, if you can meet uh, a lot of your top clients, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so. You know, we've seen results from uh, technology companies and uh, progressively quarter after quarter in 2015, uh, the level of uh, enthusiasm has kind of gone down, especially, I guess, because of what's happening in Europe. Uh, I know it's tough to extrapolate the macro trends to what's happening business-wise, but that is something that we've seen with company after company. What are your thoughts? No, I am cautiously optimistic. Okay. I think the, the way the global situation is evolving, I mean, forget about the, what happened to the Swiss franc. That's another issue. Uh, U.S. is looking great. Okay. You're going to see real growth there. U.S. is back in the bounce. Uh, Europe, yes, business prospects are not that great. Mm. But I don't see that as a limitation. Mm. I see that as an opportunity. Okay. Because we are doing more and more in Europe. Europe was difficult to get into. There were a lot of barriers to entry, mm. whether it was the law, whether it was the way they did business. Those are disappearing because they require a, a more cost-effective solutions to their problems. Mm. And Indian companies are Indian providing that. We provide that. Mr. Nair, thanks very much for your time, sir. Great talking to Bye. you. Appreciate it. Thank you.